looking a little frizzy. <laughs> I think this is what all the dangerous toxic particulates look like in hair. Hello, dear souls. It has been an interesting day today, just emotionally speaking. So <clears throat> I'm still in smoky California. I think somebody told me today that the air quality where I am right now is the worst of anywhere in the world, is what she told me she had heard on the news. And that doesn't surprise me because it's really hard to describe to you, unless you're here to see it, what it looks like um, and how it is here. It, it, I can't see the mountains very clearly. Um, you can't see the trees. Everything is just covered in this haze. It's it's unlike anything you could you could imagine. It's really unbelievable. Um, and even though I'm wearing a mask, I can still feel it. Um, there's a smell to the air that's not like, it doesn't smell like campfire smell, but it, it's just, it smells like uh, toxic. It smells toxic. And I have had so many emotions from this. Um, like I look around, if I'm, if I'm driving, um, first of all, I'm feeling guilty about everything. Hey, Trisha, I know, it's terrible. Um, if I'm driving around and I see birds flying, pelicans and, and other birds, I just, I feel, I apologize to them. I feel they don't have an option to get out of this. Um, they can't just go somewhere else. There's nowhere else to go. For miles and miles and miles and miles, this is the situation. Thank you, Trisha. Um, so for all the animals and all the creatures, I just feel devastated for the the beauty, I was just here just a few months ago, a couple months ago, and it's such a beautiful area. It's so gorgeous. The woods, the the redwoods. Um, I've been wanting to go to Muir Woods. I've never seen it. And I, as I was driving today to go uh, meet someone on the high off the highway, I saw the sign for Muir Woods, and it said um, no services today, and that practically made me cry. <sighs> It's heavy, it's heavy. I feel such heaviness, I feel trapped. I want you guys to imagine for a second because this is something I never ever had to think about. Imagine for a second that there is no clean air, none. Like the only clean air is what you get when you're indoors and even that you know, arguably isn't clean because there's all sorts of toxins that happen indoors, indoors as well. It's a very constricting, confining, overwhelming, trapping feeling. So even in Florida, our Everglades burns, you know, naturally, I believe, every year, certain times. Um, and in going outside there, I can smell it and, and they have advisory warnings for people who are sensitive, you know, have lung sensitivities and breathing sensitivities. Um, but this is like, this is bad for everybody. There should, we should not be, there shouldn't be any living being outdoors in this air. And yet we still have life going on as we know it. There's, there's still plenty of people who, you know, who aren't wearing masks by choice. Um, I saw a couple little children in an elevator. Um, there was no parent around them. I guess they were just riding the elevator. And I said, do you guys have your masks? And the little boy said, no, we don't. And I said, well, you should wear a mask because it's really dangerous to breathe the air out there. You, you want clean air. He said, yeah, clean air is good, but we don't have masks. And my heart just broke again. It's hard to find masks here, at least from what I've heard. I brought a couple extra and I've already given them away. I gave them to two friends, one who didn't have one and one whose mask expired because the toxins are so high that the filters can only take out so much and then you need a new mask. Ugh. So I've been trying to do some really good self-care. I've been drinking a lot more. I brought like a powdered spirulina, chlorella, like green drink plus powdered amla powder. Um, to just mix with some water for, for some extra boost of um, for my immune system. 
Um, I've been drinking lots of water. I've been getting good sleep. I've been trying to stay indoors more. Um, but it really today, I just, I just felt kind of heavy and stressed and overwhelmed. And a dear friend who's local here, hi Kimberly, sent me a message and she said, um, are you going to stay? Or are you, are you going to go home early or are you going to still stay? And I'll tell you, I have felt torn because each day the air quality worsens. And that's not an exaggeration. They actually report more and more and more what parts per billion of these toxins. And I've been asking myself, should I stay here or should I go? And it's such a quandary because there's a part of me that feels like, how lucky am I that I have the option to go home, you know, to get out of this? And, but these, the people who live here aren't so lucky. A lot of them don't have anywhere to go. They, their work is here, they have to be here, um, their homes are here, and so there's, there's that kind of tugging. And then I also think, I also feel like, but I, I came here um, knowing that this was going to be a challenge and came here knowing that for whatever reasons, I needed to be here to support others in this kind of situation, to bring my work and my energy here um, because I don't know how it is, it can, you know, who I'm meant to serve and how, but, but I know that I am. Um, and so I, I, so a friend of mine, you have such a beautiful empathic heart. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you. I'm telling you, I feel so stretched in the last month, just really, really so emotionally stretched and that's okay. Um, if that's human, it's the human experience. And I'm mostly saying that's okay because I need to hear that from myself too. Um, so I've been exercising. There's a gym in the hotel where I'm staying at, thank God. And so I just know that I need to be moving energy out and I need to allow my lungs to, to breathe as well as I can in, in as clean of air as I can possibly find. And so, and sweating is important, you know, getting toxins out. So I've been doing that. Um, and then today I met a dear friend and her sweet partner. Um, we decided let's go do something together. And what do you do? Normally in California, what I do is I like to go hiking, be outdoors. But, um, so I, I tasked them with finding us a good place to, um, to go that was indoors and they picked the best place that you could go in this kind of situation which is an indoor botanical garden so basically an enclosed rainforest ah! <laughs> it was like a breath of fresh air but a bump I felt like I was just inhaling these plants and their beautiful oxygen that they were putting out and I had to touch them all and bring my face really close to them and smell them and there were beautiful flowers and well you all know what botanical gardens are like the the air in there is very um, humid I felt like I was at home in Florida it was it was wonderful it was very very healing and then we did something that maybe wasn't so smart um, we went to a restaurant, but instead of taking a car ride there, we walked, which normally is what I would prefer to do, except when in the outdoor air quality. We had our masks on, but still, <clears throat> I feel it right now, we probably shouldn't have walked. Um, it's just, oh, it's just so hard to explain when, it's like particles, you're looking through particles in the air. I can feel them in my eyes, um, I can, they're just you can't get away from it so we we had um we had a nice vegan lunch and then i took a car back to my car i took a lift um, back to my car and drove back and at this point i was feeling like really low energy feeling again that trapped feeling i was no longer in the plant energy and just everywhere i'm looking as i'm driving i can't see the mountains very well that you can't see the trees and I'm just starting to feel heavier and heavier and heavier. And so I get back to my hotel room and I, I ask myself, self, what is going to serve you right now? And myself said, my higher self said, go meditate, go lay down, go meditate. And you will, you will know, you will be guided because I really was feeling on the fence of, should I try to come home early? 
what do I do? I don't want to cancel my events. I have a channeling group tomorrow night and I have a workshop the next day and I'm totally excited to do them and I don't even know if anyone's going to show up. Um, but I don't want to cancel, right? So um, I decided, I meditated. I got a brand new, like a, a shift in energy, a new perspective. I got up from my meditation and I have a client that came to see me at the hotel for a session. And her session was so beautiful and she's such a gorgeous soul. And it was the first time I had channeled for her one-on-one. -on -one. And she said to me, thank you so much for coming all this way to help us, to bring others your gifts. And that's exactly it. That's what I needed to hear. That's what I needed to feel. That's what I needed to be reminded of. And for now, anyways, I'm going to stay put, I'm going to stay with my mask, I'm going to keep doing the self-care that I know how to do, and I'm going to trust that I will be guided if I need to do anything any differently. Um, but it's tough. This is, this is definitely a journey that I have never experienced before, and I have so much, so much empathy and so much compassion for what is going on in our environment right now. And I ask you all to pray for all the animals, for all the beings, for all the humans, um, and just see the air being cleansed and cleared. Please, if you can see that, imagine that, pray for that. That will be helpful. So much love. Thank you.